Hi all my friends. <laughs> well, I woke up, or the update on the rodent, and I set the trap, and the stick was, still had the box propped open, and it got the carrot again, but this time the box stayed open the trap this thing is so dang smart so next we're gonna try is Kent has like a wire and inside is a uh, cable or kind of like a copper wire sorry inside of this so I don't know it may go through this or may have to work harder to get through this I don't know. If it goes through this, we definitely have to find something thicker. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I may, I might see if I can um, wrap it around and around, like around the carrot. And then, so if this is the carrot, what I might do is as I go around the carrot and come up to the top, you know, I might just really twist this thing around and around and around, like just, and maybe back down and back up again, so a couple more times. So to make this area very, very thick here with the wire. Um, I'm pretty sure that's, that's where it's snapping it, because the part that I'm tying around the carrot and I tie it in a knot, and I wrap it around, and I tie it in another knot, and it's pretty tight. Uh, that whole part is gone, the rope part around the carrot, and the carrot itself, the whole thing is gone. I'm telling you, this thing is clever. Let me show you the box um, now that I have it all finished and all wrapped up. All right, I'm going to see if I could do this. I don't want to bring out my tripod. <laughs> Okay, so I have it all completely wrapped up. So it's sealed up all the way around. I mean, so it is like really secure. So it is so wrapped up. All right, so it's not getting through this. It's going to be pretty hard for it to do that. All right, that is if I can catch it. But I am determined not to let it um, beat me. So in the front where I have, you know, the little cup holders and there's a little small um, holder there, it took my chapstick and it took my mints that I had, like I had like maybe a half a roll of mints. So that's gone. I had two traps um, also on the floor and also tied with the string just in case, you know, I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose the trap somewhere or it or, you know, uh, go off and die somewhere in my van or something, <laughs> you know, that would be awful. But I'm pretty sure the mouse traps are way too small for it. And the reason I'm going to this extreme is the damage it's doing. It's not leaving on its own. Uh, they carry diseases. Um, and also they're, you know, if they pooping around inside your van, um, that is pretty unhealthy, you know, if it was to get out of control. Um, so the more you curb that and get rid of it, the more healthy it's going to be. So let me show you um, what I got going on on my floor. saw it. I couldn't get the filming. It just went inside my... Um, up inside there. I just saw it. Wow. It's a big, um, it, oh my gosh, it was trapped in the corner there and it didn't know what to do. And it actually still went up through here. It's, it went up through the corner up in here still. Oh my gosh, but I got to see it. So what it's doing is it's snapping the trap because it, it is a pack rat. So it's a big rat, not a, um, a mouse. I mean, I was eye to eye to it. I wish I could have gotten my phone out in time, but you can see the fresh little turds there now. And um, it's little poopies. But oh my gosh, I saw it. Um, hmm. 
it's a smart little clever thing it was right there in the corner just shaking not knowing what to do and it just went right i tried to scoot it out and uh and it went right up it up in here hmm But it's so smart, it's snapping the trap, and it did it on both sides, and then it ate the peanut butter right off the trap. Isn't that how smart it is? It's incredibly smart. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start my engine and really bang on this, um, you know, everything, and uh, my board, my uh, dash, sorry. I'm going to bang, 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 and just try to see if I can shoo it out um that's the best thing i'm going to try to do at this point and then set that trap tonight all right so i'll keep you posted um i also want to say this for the record i'm not afraid of mice now actually when i was trying to scoot it out i actually had the holder that the phone is on it's a little small little tripod thing i tried to scoot it out with that never with the hands because you don't want it to bite you could be carrying you know, all kinds of diseases or something so I was trying to scoot it out with the tripod and um, you know but I'm not afraid of them I as a kid I loved rodents I mean I had rats as a kid you know not a hamster and not a little mouse I had a rat as a pet and they actually make really good pets they don't bite um, not like mice little mice mice actually can bite but they really were docile. They were just, you know, very sweet. Um, they really made really great pets. Um, so I'm not afraid of them. But just I know the wild ones carry diseases. And I'm more concerned about this one because it wants to keep hanging out in my engine. Which can cause engine damage if it chews through a vital cord you know, or like my spark plug or something like that. I mean, that is not going to be good. Um, I mean, one commenter said something before, like, well, watch out, it could be underneath your bed. You know, I said, like, yeah, I kind of wish it was underneath my bed, you know, because at least it's not going to be in my engine. Um, and they're not going to bite you. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. So as soon as it saw me, it was shaking. I mean, it just wanted to get away. And that's what it did. It didn't attack me, you know, even when I tried to, you know, scoot it out. It just ran. And I mean, that's what they're going to do. They're going to want to run away. But anyway, all right, so keep you po posted on the next, you know, day, what happens as I reset the trap and um, with the wire. And um, I think it's a female. I mean, I, it's, I saw another one take off running from the back of my van and took off running down there and two birds were chasing it and that one looked bigger like that could be a male and that's why I'm now even more scared than ever because I think this is a female and the way that it's grabbing papers and shredding and it could be nesting so this could be the female and the male took off and some birds you know chased it I heard a bunch of noise at the back of my van and I thought what the heck like from the wheel and then I was look I looked out and I saw it take off running and then these two birds chasing it so um yeah so I don't know um I'll keep you posted. We'll see how the next day goes. And um, with the saga of getting rid of this thing, or hopefully I could get it out when we leave, but we're not leaving until um, early next week uh, where we're going to move on. Or I can get maybe better things, you know, designed to, to get rid of this particular size rodent. All right. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh. I am trying to wrap this. I don't know if you can see, but I am going to wrap this thing around and around and around. And I thought I'm even going to bring it back a couple of times and bring it back down. So it's going to have to chew at the closest part to this carrot it's going to have to chew it um, through more than one um, layer I guess you could say because I'm just going to put so many of them I'm tired it's about 1 30 in the morning 
um, I'm not getting a lot of sleep. So sorry for the ums, but I am tired and trying to think more for my words. But <laughs> um, I just got through watching Kelly's video where she has a mouse in her vehicle. And I was just laughing because I can so relate to what she's going through. She says, yeah, it's moved into her vehicle. And I thought, oh, my gosh, I know what you're feeling. I feel like mine has moved in. And like her, like I might as well just give it the keys, <laughs> you know. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of taken over. Taking over a rig so I can surely relate to um, what Kelly has been feeling. The only difference, um, if you don't know her, it's Kelly, Kelly Doyle. She is a crack up. Oh my gosh, she is so funny. And is that I have had, I have experienced um, mice before in uh, Portland. Two of the houses, the last two houses I lived at uh, that I owned, um, had rats because it backed one back to Powerline Park. The other one, um, just I lived um, at the base of a mountain. And so uh, they're just, you know, where I lived, it's they're just prone for um, mice, you know, and rats. And it's just. It's in a lot of places, even a place in California where I lived um, in an apartment building had mice. I mean, I was laying there on my couch and the mouse was starting to run around my living room. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I got out of that apartment, though, pretty quickly after, you know, they weren't going to do anything about the mice. So I said, OK, I've got to go. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I have had to deal with them in a stick and brick house you know, set up. So, um, anyways, so here it is. I hope it's going to work. I actually saw it try to come out a little while ago and I heard noise and I turned around and I looked and, um, and it quickly went right back up, um, where it went up before I saw its tail as it went up. Um, I'm actually thinking, I'm going to have to research now because I saw a tail and I thought pack rats don't have tails, but I could be wrong. Or maybe it's certain species of them have tails and some don't have tails. So I'll have to look um, because that Cibola, uh Kent and I videoed a pack rat that was kind of running around our our chairs and stuff like that and of course I thought it was really cute it was adorable I mean you know because I mean I like all animals but until the rodents get inside your vehicle then it's a whole different story but I'm gonna have to find out and I'll get back to you guys on that um I know there's different species of them um, but this has a tail so but it but I've had rats, so I know it's not a rat because it looks more hamster-like, you know, a big body. So I'm sure it's a species of, of a type of pack rat. Okay, well, I'm probably rattling now. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get this set up, and let's see what happens tomorrow and if I can catch it. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Oh, real quickly, so this is the setup. So I have the um, stick and then the carrot up inside of it. And then I'm going to put a, um, a dried berry that I have there. It's a cranberry. And I lead it with like two, two cranberries up into it. And like one on the outside, one a little bit more towards following the trail inside. And I have did that both times, but it still took the cranberries and the carrot, <laughs> little smarty pants, and then, you know, no rodent. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. It's going to get fat if I keep, you know, feeding it and not catching it pretty soon here. <laughs> 
All right. Okay. I got to go to bed. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Wanted to uh, finish this video that I started to put together about the rodent. So since that night that I had set up that trap, <laughs> um, I didn't catch it. So I woke up. It didn't even touch it. Didn't even touch. I put a little tiny... Um, uh, cranberries, you know, the dry, the, the dried cranberries, nothing, didn't even touch a thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I thought, well, okay, let's see what happens. And, uh, after a couple of days, nothing, never heard it again, but we did have a really bad windstorm that came in. Things had cooled down again. I kept my, uh, hood open. And so obviously that, you know, the cold, the draft, everything was going to just definitely fill up in the doghouse and everywhere else. And uh, so I had that open and with no food for it, obviously, because I, you know, watched everything that I left out, you know, in my containers, the food, everything that I had, but I have like containers or I had a couple bags that were ziplocked, um, shut in a baggie. All of that was back with me in the bed area. So it had absolutely no food. I made sure it could not get into anything to reinforce its behavior, you know, of being in my van. <laughs> And um, so, yeah, nothing. It's just been gone. And now that it's warmed up, I kept thinking, okay, is it going to come back? Uh, but so far, so good. So I think it is gone. Um, it won't be hitchhiking a ride with me. Hopefully not when we leave here. But we won't be leaving this area um, until, let's see, I think, I think we're looking at probably another four days um so it's the you know four four complete days we're leaving the fifth day um so hopefully it won't be back before we leave all right so let's see what happens so definitely this could be my last video about this little rodent but um definitely i'm going to be a lot more prepared i think what i'm going to do too is that there's a light method that somebody had said uh, I, I don't know if I'll get the actual red or rat, but um, that someone suggested I might just put, I have two like extra pop-up lights that I had bought that I'm not using anymore, and I have a way of recharging batteries, so I might just stick two of those in and around in my uh, engine compartment that I would probably Velcro and just remove when I, I'm on the road, and when I get somewhere, I'll just stick them back in there with the velcro so i'll i will do an update video on that if that's the way that i might go because they don't like light so maybe at night with having light in that area of my engine and compartment and stuff that it won't they won't want to go there and then i won't be drawing down my battery because it'll be uh, re used with rechargeable batteries. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. I'll give it some more thought and uh, definitely will let you know what I decide as a preventative against them, but I will be prepared in case. They come in too from the back too, I think. I think there's, who knows how they, I don't know if that's the only way, but I know I had them in my uh, kangaroo mice that got into the walling of my bathroom before so I don't know if they got in from the engine and then got into that area so I don't know um, we'll see <laughs> but I'm going to be prepared definitely for uh, any size mouse because they can do a lot of damage um, very very quickly and uh, they carry diseases and that's one thing that you know Sometimes we want to be, you know, nice because I love all animals. Oh, my gosh. I mean, they are so cute when they're outside running around. And I'm always filming them, and and I'll continue to do that. But, boy, when they get inside your, your um, vehicle or even your house, um, they can make a lot of, lot of uh, damage uh, very, very quickly. 
and the diseases. So, I mean, people that live in stick and brick houses, and I, I have had them, as I mentioned in the earlier clip, that got it, you know, in my uh, last couple of houses I was in, um, in Oregon. So you have to get serious about that because, you know, now they're in your space. And so, you know, yeah, it's, I love them, but sometimes you just have to do what's necessary to protect also yourself um, against what, what they bring in your space, okay? All right, so I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. And I'm so glad it left on its own. I'm telling you, thank you. Oh, my gosh, up above God. Oh, my gosh, I just... It was pretty darn cute when I saw it, though. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that it left on its own. Okay, see you next time.